Jenko. Cue with the view, right? If you think about it. Cue yeah, with the we view. Bye, well, we just thank you for that musical interlude. No problem. <laughs> yes, our special guest needs no introduction. <laughs> no, she's she sang us right in. She screen writes. She does everything pretty much. Yeah, Anna every, Lee and Ames. I, yeah, thank you. Annalie, and it's so glad Annalie Ames Yay. is back. Yay. We're so happy to have you. I'm back, right? You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're back. You're dropping your phone. I'm dropping everything. Oh, I'm like, goodness. I told you it would be like the Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, let's raise our glasses. Okay. <gasps> Cheers. We've got Cheers. Annalie Cheers. here. Cheers. Lana, Annalie. so good to see that you arrived I'm, home, I'm home safe. safe. Yes. Yes. Home safe. Goodness. So where were you? You were in? Uh, I was in Pakistan, guys, for oh. the first time in, I would say, 14 or 15 years. Oh, my God. Uh, for my brother's wedding, um, and anyone who's on my social media, you would have you would have seen that I was actually live a lot of the time I was there because mm -hmm. I just wanted people to see a different view. Yeah. You guys, it was fantastic. I literally had so much fun in Pakistan. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and I have to yeah, hashtag hashtag Pakistan. Pakistan. No, I, I'm She's just, never, she, I'm just super happy. It's always drama. It's always drama, oh. and, go, and this time it was. Like literally three in the morning, like every kind of food available, and oh people don't wow. like it was <laughs> just, it was just incredible. <laughs> which is why going back five <laughs> steps, I said, I feel like my dress is a bit tight. Oh. I think I gained like four pounds. My keto is dead right now, and I'm starting back up. No. But anyways, well, okay, but okay, maybe not anyways. quite as glamorous as Pakistan, <laughs> but Calgary. And I want to welcome a new yeah. yes. crew member, Francine Fournier. Thank you very yes. much. Fashion Winnipeg, and. Fashion uh, Winnipeg. Hey, so how was Calgary? Amazing. We went yeah. uh, to Lake Louise. We did Moraine Lake, which is the bluest of the blue. Wow. Uh, when you thought Lake Louise was going to be the best, nope, they saved the best for last, and they nailed it. Uh, we did, uh, it was a family vacation, so my best friend and her two boys and myself and my Aww. son went. We do it every year. We do a, a mama baby trip, and not baby, I guess, because they're big bears now, but <laughs> uh, we had a great time. So just arrived back, and 10 out of 10 is what we scored the trip. So oh, it's good right to be on. home, too, though. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. always. Yeah, it is. Always. Lots of stuff going on. Always. Great segue into good to be home. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Look who's yeah. here. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Wow. Yay. Um, you know what? I think we all have our own stories about Annalie Ames. <laughs> <laughs> the I think mystery. everybody has a story the about Annalie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For well, people on the podcast, you can't just see her doing yeah. the air quotes, yeah. but <laughs> basically she just Sorry. did air quotes. Yeah. Lots of stories. <laughs> yes, well, you know what? Act Like I said, actress, screenwriter, producer, mm -hmm. director. Filmmaker, but I want to concentrate now on what you're doing back in Winnipeg, mm, and then okay. we'll talk about LA. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I, I've opened my studio again after a five-year hiatus. Mm -hmm. uh, after I've I've directed now and screenwritten and produced more, and so coming back here, I I decided that I would bring that back to people here. So I um, before I did teach three thousand people here, and now I'm on a roll. I think I'm going to teach ten thousand yeah. wow. right and help them live their dreams. And I'm I really take a new uh, a new position now which is to empower every creative person in the city so that they are like you girls you guys can't see but there's these women behind the cameras who are just killing me right now I'm so excited about you guys and like I'm oh. telling you this is the future what you guys are doing mm -hmm. there's some young girls behind camera behind sound right now that you can't see that are killing it and they're they're filming this whole thing and this is the future of film uh, and it's such a big important thing that you constantly empower yourselves and you make your own films and Tracy that you produce your own things and you just keep going with that because that's all you have mm -hmm. at the end yeah. of the day yeah. so yeah. I'm really promoting that oh, mm -hmm. well you know what and even through your whole journey too as an actress and being in front of the camera and it's like Annalie I mean wow I, I think would it be safe to say there's more down and defeated times than there are up times? Oh. And, and then how have you navigated the waters to get to where you are today? Because I know it hasn't been an easy journey. No, it's been an extremely difficult journey, uh, every piece of it almost. And even yeah. it's such a difficult journey that even the good stuff is hard to bring up when Absolutely. you're thinking about my career and yeah. talking yeah. about mm -hmm. my career and, mm -hmm. and 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 I'm in Winnipeg too which was isn't the most glamorous place in the film industry now right now it's more glamorous than it's ever been but it wasn't LA so yeah um, I, I've been to the depths this this close of being famous like mm -hmm. literally mm -hmm. just tipped me over and I would have mm -hmm. been and didn't get there um, but you know it's made me stronger and it's made me have this resilient because I'm teaching in the film in the film industry and teaching students, mm -hmm. I feel like all of that prepared me 
to give back to them the truth, mm -hmm. not some crappy story that you know you could just make it because that's not true. Oh, and I always use the Olympics mm -hmm. as a you know I'm not a big fan completely of the Olympics, but I'm a fan of the discipline mm -hmm. yes. and yeah. the that just that kind of grit that you mm -hmm. get for working towards Absolutely. something. Yeah. And I have that grit now. The cold hard truth. <laughs> the cold hard truth. Right? I literally Absolutely. I'm made of sandpaper, yeah. oh. <laughs> right? Because yeah. I've done everything from stand up all the way you know in L. A. all the way to here stand and, and, and stand up. Yeah, that's what Seth Rogen for a very long time. Oh, no way. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's funny. So, what's, mm -hmm. well, what would be your your go-to joke, or what did? Oh, what you don't. I can't even say those. <laughs> like, I don't even talk about that stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't talk about this. Stuff. <laughs> no, uh, no. Maybe we'll have a new routine. I'm I'm recently riding a uh, horseback riding, so I'm sure that's going to turn into a routine. All right. So oh, uh, I will it. go back to it. And I want to talk. She had an adult summer camp. Yes. Now, I guess it has to do with filmmaking, but I got kind of like intrigued. Adult summer camp. Oh. Hey, I want to go to adult summer, to summer camp. Yes, summer you guys camp. have to come next, oh. next summer. Yes. I mean, yes. we might have winter summer camp too because oh, yeah. why is there you summer the camp for kids uh, and, and not adults? Oh. Right? Yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Like, who doesn't go to, like, yeah, I just think that it's, uh, an, it was an idea that was spawned from, uh, what I've talking about is, is empowering people about making films. Yeah. And that, you know, rather than do a weekend workshop, which I could do and everybody mm -hmm. does, I wanted to do something that was a week long. It was like a camp out kind of situation. Oh cool. my God. We did cool. vision boards. We it. made three films. They oh. wrote, my oh students wow. wrote three films. They wrote three films. Okay. <laughs> That's incredible. Tracy, yes, you heard it here. <laughs> taking the you crew to, <laughs> to the summer camp. camp. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, we'll so go winter. Winter. Yeah. We'll do Christmas. Oh, yeah, wow. Let's do the winter camp. one. Yeah, a winter one, but I kind of want to have like a horror film kind of. Oh. You can because what happens oh, yeah. is they create it all from their collective yeah. and then I help them put it together. They wrote everything yeah. and then I, I ended up directing at the end. So I yes. took cool. it away from them. I brought in a professional cinematographer and a yeah. crew cool. and we filmed it and they acted in it. So yeah. they got to do oh, everything. So cool. You know what's interesting is just listening to you and we just kind of had some previous conversation before we got out. And the first thing that came to my mind was we put people on pedestals, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like we put people on yeah. pedestals and mm -hmm. uh, we almost act like they're not human. So when the attacks come, whether you're good or bad, mm -hmm. uh, we take them to heart. And people don't know that there's actually a person behind that name or that face or that, that action or whether it's an actor or anything else. Mm -hmm. um, and I appreciate you being here because a lot of what you s talk about is empowering other people, but you could only do that if you've lived through the war, the and war, the, the war, war. The and war. you have the confidence, right? And you have confidence, yeah. confidence. Yeah. and you've learned. The cold hard truth, right? Which doesn't totally. feel like confidence. I, I think, you know, ego is one thing when yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. look at me, I'm on some yeah. shows, I've been in this and this, and then there's another like, well, I could show you what it really feels yeah. like <laughs> yeah. to do all those things because I have that yeah. experience. And, and, and I truthfully, like, you, I, I find it so relatable. And, and I just, you know, I guess my question to you is, uh, just on a personal level, like I find it very difficult three years or four years or whatever it's been after politics to even engage oh. still in stuff mm -hmm. because I'm so scared. You know what I mean? Like I'm still gun shy. Like I feel like I'm still shy and scared about the backlash. Like do you feel that way still? Yes, or? and, oh and I t I'll tell you a story. I tr have trained many, many people in town, including Evelyn Hart and uh, Kahari Jones, the bombers used to come nice. train with me, oh. and uh, Kahari is my one story that I love, which I can hopefully you can learn from. Is that he came and I, I said to everybody, this is Kahari, and he's just a person here, because mm -hmm. Kahari was a very. I hope he does. He's like, why are you bringing me? <laughs> you know, <laughs> Kahari is such a kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's right now. He's very good. You'll find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> just because you're good props to my team that I get. <laughs> Coach, here I'll list them all. No, um, but Kahari came in and I gave every, I gave him permission to be himself. Mm -hmm. cool. And I told people leave him alone. And we, I, we have a rule in my studio: if someone's crying, you don't. Oh, I'm so. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Because that stops that. the crying. Yeah. It stops at letting yeah. everything out. Right. Totally. And so I constantly give people permission. Uh, cops, there's lots of cops that come here. There's oh, lawyers that come here. Yeah. Lots of lawyers. They uh, love yes. acting, right? Guys, yes. we got, we got, yes. <laughs> lawyers got a bad rap and a tough gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they're stressed all the time. Oh, yeah. So you've got to take that. Yeah. I don't even teach acting. I teach human beingness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, what oh, does it right. mean to be a human? Mm -hmm. And what's your story? Because 
you have one, you have mm -hmm. one, you have, and people say to me, do you have to be talented? And I'm like, you are, everybody is. is. You just have to find that story in somebody. I was just gonna yeah. ask, can it be a regular person from Winnipeg that goes well, from the camp too? Well, it could be you. See, yeah. okay. Well, look yes. at you, your nice. story. Oh. We wrote, we wrote silly little scripts, and I'm not putting them down, but too. they were wrote, written in one day. That's yeah. not normal. Yeah. And then we filmed something, and. We did vision boards where we dreamed as big as we could dream about ourselves, and and we we sat with s'mores. We didn't really. We had a wrap party <laughs> on, at the end on the oh. Friday night, right? Like Come we on. did it all in a week, and it yeah. was everything they could learn about film, and but it was also saying go do your own as well, yeah. because my story is that mm -hmm. my story is going to be what I did with my failure. Mm -hmm. That will be the story at the end of the day for me. <laughs> go do well, you. Hey, could not yeah. it be like, well, YouTube, like social media, even what we're doing now with you online, I mean, if you have the capacity or whatever Absolutely. to do it, to go do it, you may not need the million dollar, the two million exactly. dollar budget. It may not look no, like, you know, Transformers, but you can make your own little mini horror story. Absolutely. Yeah. People like that. It's, it's real. You know, yeah. it's every day, it's real. It's, it's the authenticity of it all. Exactly. Right? right? It's yeah. the authenticity of it all. And, and make it relate to the person yeah. too. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, like... I, we kind of come down to the same thing, and you know, we've had so many huge conversations, and I'm always the a hole who's just like, but guys, <laughs> like, you, know, all you don't have to worry now. Let's yeah, yeah. Now. yeah. No, but kidding. you know, there, there, there's something, and I don't know, you know, it's a 41 year old vision quest I'm on. I don't know what it is, but I just, you know, I'm on this track right now, and you kind of speak to it a bit uh, of just, just do you. Yeah, do the you. best that you can do, you. And, and a lot of people will say bad things. Sometimes. They will. There will always be those people. They will. Haters, and those are haters, yeah. well, but whatever, it, whatever. It's some people just yeah. say so, it because they're not doing their own. That's it. Okay, so, so here's the, here's okay. the deal. So let's keep on this track. Mm -hmm. You see it as an actress being saying, okay, no, you're not quite. No, no, you're not it. No, 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 you're too fat. You're too skinny. You're not. No, you're not young enough. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the same thing in the fashion, right? Or you know, you look ugly. Blah blah blah. So how do we? Because now with social media, how have you handled it? Because you still deal with it because you're still in the industry. How do you do that, or how do you handle then all the negativity? Because it is more, right? Always. It's like uh, instantaneous. Mm -hmm. I stay away as much as I can. I still engage because I know that's part of what, what I do for do. a living. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've started riding horses, so I live half my day at Whoa. a barn, and I yeah. remove myself completely from society, yeah. mm -hmm. and that fills me up immensely mm -hmm. cool. yeah. and I do my Absolutely. healing work there and yeah. I do whatever I need to do there. Creative thinking too I bet. Yes mm -hmm. and then I come back to the world and I'm fresh and I'm with my students and then I have a very small group now of, of friends because friends. yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'm I, you know I've, there's lots of people around in my life but mm -hmm. I'm very very I'm very particular about what who I spend my time with and how I spend mm. it. That's well, critical. That's how about, so how about so you Francine? Quality over con quantity. Oh, Absolutely yeah. I can completely agree with that as well. Um, and for me too, it, it, if you surround yourself with people that are more, uh, in my view, who are better off than I am, it will encourage me to become better. If mm -hmm. I surround myself with people who are less yeah. than me or whatever, then it'll bring me down. So again, it's, it's good to be particular about who you surround yourself with, you know. Absolutely. And I'm glad to be part of the, this panel today well, too no, because then I'm convinced, you know, surrounding yeah. myself with ladies who are yeah. powerful and who believe in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And that, that fires me up. Yeah. Well, fires and that's me good. Right and you also have to share your life too. Yeah, you do yeah. Have absolutely. A, you do have a, a you know, very handsome son. I do. Uh, and that's handsome handsome son. Actually handsome. Handsome. He's only 11, yeah. everybody. Yeah. 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 Not yet on the market. Yeah. Yeah. And that's Dennis the menace yeah. for anyone watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I guess, I guess, I guess, a question that I would ask you is, <clears throat> you know, you said quality over quantity, but like, yes. what, what is that? Like, what, what? is the quality we are looking for in our friendship. I know, and that can be misguided. How it makes you right? feel, yes. right? How you feel yes. inside. Yes. Because some people... You know, your gut knows, your right. instinct knows, this is not right, and then you try it again, you try it again, let's just say bang with a friend head, or whatever, head, right? Yep. Yeah. I'll forgive this, and it's like, no, at the end of the day, you know that mm, maybe that's not the right fit. Yeah. So I guess that's so, go for relationships oh, too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it does. Yes, oh, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We ignore things, and true. And? Nothing. And no brutal. true love. No brutal. true love and Pakistan. Brutal. No. No. Oh. And I would say we're born. She found shoes. You found shoes. You found I found shoes. shoes. Forty pairs. But you guys. Okay, what? sorry. We're gonna have forty quick, pairs of shoes. What? Yeah, like I bought a bag full. But she, quick, what? quick, quick girl talk. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into who or what. So I did actually join 
uh, a Manitoba uh -oh. dating thing. Okay. okay. Dating thing. Da dating. Like, it's dating. like it's like dating yeah. thing. So they dating match thing. make, right? Okay. Oh. And, oh. and and this is the thing. Okay. So I Can't give wait. them a profile. Yes. And I can I swear on my life it was literally like just don't be an a hole. Excuse my language, guys. You but said that don't about the guy. Be, no, I, I just said like I didn't ask for you know a prince with a billion dollar house. Okay. Like I didn't ask for anything other than be a good human being. And you know your actions would show that. Like you take care of your family. Do you have good characteristics? Those are the types of things I asked for. And they actually sent me a message, and they were just like, you know, we're having a really difficult time matching you. <laughs> After eight months and nine hundred freaking dollars. I wonder if it's the same what? one that all my, my <laughs> We should talk. We should talk because yeah. there is a dating service around oh. here that that's not the first time they've said Brutal. that. Brutal. But my question is this: If I give you money, yes. <laughs> if I give you my money. And you have a business. That's like going to McDonald's and them saying, yes. you're not quite right for the Big Mac. Yes. Right? Like, we're going to give you a cheeseburger. Oh, my gosh. Actually, we've decided you don't belong at McDonald's. <laughs> right? Like, how yes. do you say, like, <laughs> oh that means God. they don't have enough oh men signing up for this thing. Yeah. I'm well, it means oh, yeah. your business plan sucks. Thank you. Right? It means that I you, think I, mean, I know who this as, person I is. I bet you we have it. If I'm the same thing. We won't but, talk bad. But, but other than that, well, I'm not going to bash anyone. Off I camera. Mean, <laughs> yeah. oh, we will talk about it off yeah. camera. I don't want defamation suit on my hands. You can email us and you can <laughs> find email, out. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> email. <laughs> I will definitely tell the you. Juice. But, but you know what? Uh, I guess just coming back to who we are and how we feel and like people's stuff. Like that email, I probably read it like 20 times. You know, like it, it actually, oh. yeah. Did it make you feel bad? Did it, it make you uh, feel it like there was something wrong with you? Yes. About them, that There's like something yes. wrong with you. Holes, and yeah. so my and here's the thing that happened, you want. right? Yes. And wow. then you're sitting here and you're like, okay, like I'm as loyal as they come. Mm. I'm, I assume I'm not horrible looking. No, <laughs> you can Google me to check. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, you know, it's I'm confident. I'm, I'm capable. You know, I'm like, a, I feel like I'm a pretty decent person. I love my family. I love my parents. I'm like, I'm not, you know, I'm You're definitely good. not create like, you know, mean, mean spirited in any way. So what? Like it was just like a yeah. jaw dropping email. There's something email. wrong with that dating service. Well, I'm exactly. telling you, telling you that. It was so There's something brutal, wrong guys. with this dating service because they're doing it everywhere. So I think they have no men too. They want people that have no standards. They have standards. no quality yeah. men. Yeah. They have like no quality what? Perhaps or like they tell no you they're going to find all this fake yeah. stuff. Yeah. I kind of want my money back. <laughs> to be yeah. honest, get your money back. There's two of you now. That yeah, I know I'm like, of. I want yeah. my money back to go shopping. But anyways, <laughs> more shoes. Get some, get some more shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I was telling my students too. We we're we we're on that topic of sort of finding <laughs> somebody. Like it's They're like great. you're alone anyway. Yeah. There's something about aloneness, mm -hmm. and um, like I'm just thinking of everything that we've been saying. Yeah. And it's like if you if I look at my own life, you know the best moments are when I feel like the sh crappiest in the whole world. And I'm alone, and I'm maybe not done up, and people are like discarding me, and I'm like, you take that breath in, and you're like, I really know who I am, and I just have to keep being that. Like right now, I'm, I know who I am. It's that. okay. They How don't have to see it. I think that's the mm. biggest thing I've done for my myself. Cool. As an older woman now, you know, in her midlife. What well, my midlife lady friend, you know, and, and, and it's okay to be a midlife lady friend because yeah, it's better okay, than yeah. young when yeah. I was just like, eh, please like me. Yeah. Right. If you don't like me, I need you to like me. Yeah. Like a cat yeah. in a litter box. Yeah. Yeah. Like I won't do that anymore. Yeah. Oh my God. It's, yeah. I mean, true. It, it's, it's so, so true. true. It's so true. Not giving up. No. Yeah. It is not giving up. And then, you know, we're going to, we came in alone. We're going to die alone. Mm -hmm. That was the gift that yeah. we we're talking about our fathers this yeah. morning and, and some of the hard stuff we've gone through. My father passed away two years ago. And mm -hmm. I just realized this is going to end. And that's, we're playing for two. Well, and that's really <laughs> interesting, too, that you say that because we don't know our ending. No. And I, you know, same thing with you, had two of my, my aunt and my uncle pass away this year. And though, seeing the rapid uh, di digress or di you, them digress so rapidly mm -hmm. yeah, from crying. being healthy and you know with the dream with the lively people oh. to just a shell of what they were and it's it mm -hmm. scares you because you Terrifying. look at that right yeah. and especially if when you have family and mm -hmm. you have family and like that and you you want to know that story but I we guess do. we won't we're not and I guess being able to, to write is like such a uh, maybe it's like a, a release right mm -hmm. to well everybody's huge i tell everybody in my classes um 
at Annalie Ames Film Studio. Just if you want to yes. 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 me, yes. yes. and I'm in I'm in this Wish Co Create space. That's where my <laughs> studio, studio is, is right now. Yes. 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 So soon to another brand new studio, soon to be released. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just email us, but people. Yeah. <laughs> but you have to teach, uh, you, you know, I, I have to teach back that only, that, yeah. that, that whatever that is in you, first of all, there's always a pressure cooker in every human being. I don't care who it is. Mm -hmm. There's some kind of pressure cooker, whether it's trauma from the past or yeah. it's trauma from now or it's mm -hmm. trauma immediately in, right in front of somebody. Mm -hmm. Everybody is going through something. Yeah. Yeah. We are having a human experience on this planet. Mm -hmm. And w once you get into, tap into that human experience, because that will be the way, guys. I did my kundalini yoga training in New York last year when I was on wow. a bit of a hiatus. And, mm -hmm. and I learned from that that the vulnerable people of the world right now, especially women mm -hmm. who are not afraid of their story, yeah. are going to rise quicker than you can imagine. Cool. Yeah. And if you think about it, in a room full of people, who's the person that you relate to the most? It's not the one that's like, I'm the president of no. the United States. It's not. Right. It's the person that goes, my dad's dying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I just got a new puppy. Or, you yeah. know, you I connect. Know. I'm having menopause. Yeah. Like, I tell you, I say that sometimes, and I'm having a hot flash, yeah. and everybody around the room's like, yeah! Me too! Yeah. Yeah. Me too! Me like, too. Yeah. Yeah. That matters yeah. more than what I do. Totally. Yeah. Yes. Right? It does, because they can relate. just being, right? It's connect. like in the moment. Yeah. yeah. So cool. I, it's it's important that everybody know they have a story inside of them, and that and that it can be shared and told. It's, it, and that's such a powerful message, but, it, you know, it comes down to, and again, I'm always this person, and I don't know why I'm on this this place I'm in this place in life right it's now Rana is it, it yeah. is so in, it's Rana so Rana incredible Rana Rana yeah. like I feel like when you've gone through so much you know and for me it was at a very young age like at a very young age a house burned down you know my dad my mom like the whole nine mm -hmm. yards like basically I feel like any trauma that could have happened to a family I feel like I've gone through it lived it and I've survived and I'm still sitting here yeah but none of that like that's not the real in my head hmm. you know what I mean like that is not the real in my head the real in my head is like you know I just want to be a conscious human being and I want to live a good life and I don't want to hurt people mm -hmm. because we just finished talking about it's a very limited time mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. literally doesn't matter what you believe in and I'm not a really religious person and I'm I feel like I'm more spiritual now in my yeah. 42 mm -hmm. years of age. I'm you're, now that you're older. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, yeah. but no. it's not even about yeah, that. But, but women. Yeah, no. women. <laughs> but, but it's a separation. It, I, I feel like it's no. just. I feel like it's just about connecting to the truth of who you are, and that doesn't mean your job, and it doesn't mean your career. It just means who are you as an as, as a raw, mm -hmm. true human mm -hmm. being. What does that mean? You know what I mean? And does that mean that you feel good hugging somebody or do you feel good supporting someone? Like, what is that point? And what is our job here? And because what is our job? Because that's the only I promise. Know. And yeah. that's my, mm -hmm. and I come down again to that, is that your only promise in life is that you will go. You yeah. know, you're going to go. Whether it's when you're 41, what, I have another 20 years. But what does that mean? 20 and what's years, your, girl. To most of my family, yeah. yeah. But no, but I'm just yeah, saying, no. you know, I'll yeah. probably die young. Yeah. I could feel that. But, but I'm saying. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. She needs to go to the yoga. She needs to go to the yoga. I'm always like that, though. No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm very aware. Very touch with that. I'm very aware. So I guess I guess the message, kind of, what I want to kind of convey is it's a limited amount of time, there's a lot of negativity. People are really horrible for some mm -hmm. reason, and because those people, people are, are suffering. Some people suffering. are absolutely, people are suffering. and they don't and know how to handle it. She yeah. just hit it. Yeah, that, are that, that's what I want people to get at. Yeah. Yeah. people are suffering. Mm -hmm. So, if you have so the ability, how do we help? How do we take them to? And I think when people come to the studio, I always say, I can't promise you acting work. Although I am completely connected, I know everybody in the film industry there is to know. Like you know, so I can make a call. Legit. So how about we stop worrying about that? So this is what I say to you. Yeah. You're here. I don't care how you look. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Actually, I care about your pain. Right. And I care about whatever's going on inside of you. So let's learn to let that out. Yeah. 
and then by osmosis somehow, whatever you believe sure. in, how you mm -hmm. believe in, you will be directly put on your path. Yep. You actually, I have taught, I mean, Lisa DeRue, uh, who's on all the Hallmark films, uh, um, Mitchell Kuman, who's now in LA, I mean, they were put on their path. And mm -hmm. you know immediately when someone's put on an acting path. They get on that path and off they go. Off they go. There's others that are doing incredible things. Um, mm -hmm. Amber Balkin was a student of mine. She's dri riding her race cars now and they've got cool. shows on her. And, yep. I mean, and then there's people who just wrote something in their, in their basement. They're philosophers and that's what they want to be. They don't really, they decided that I don't really need this. I'm going to help my parents and yeah. do their, mm -hmm. I'm going to work in my parents' business, but I'm happy now. And I know that there's other ways for me to express myself. Because I think as long as that all. pressure cooker mm -hmm. is taken, yeah. that's why we don't like each other yeah. when we don't like each other. Because yeah. I'm like upset yourself. about me. Yeah. I'm upset about totally my right. life. Yeah. And the white picket fence doesn't work. And it Not anymore. Exist. Yeah. For, yeah. What's hashtag? We don't even know what that is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right? Like the, yeah. this what whole like technology thing is so far outside of us. Absolutely. And maybe yeah. the millennials are understanding it differently. Well, they, yeah. Right? They've they got they a different they, understanding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Just to just to add to that is that it's an acting camp, right? Like so you have a summer camp to teach you how to act. But meanwhile, acting might be being your true self. Yes. And that's what I think is so powerful. And like I've mentioned this to you earlier today. Because I have a son, he's 11, and when it was just him and I, sometimes having a little spat, I said, hey, you're not on a TV show right now. Right. No one's watching. You could be you, like you could just be normal. Yeah. But he, would, he was certain, kind of playing a role or a part mm -hmm. that was almost as though there was an audience. Yeah. So I think that going to an acting camp, even for myself, even though I'm mm -hmm. shy as heck, believe it or not, what? <laughs> really, yes, um, oh, would be immense for self-development well, and, and people come yeah. for Honestly. they come to my yeah. school and they're there they, they work on that cons it takes a long time yeah. mm -hmm. so for people yeah. to it's, work it's, it on it's, yeah. it's a tough call like what well, we're, we're talking we're talking about some really deep sh shit here right yeah like, my language, Rana, but, you are always <laughs> but getting us I know, I'm sorry and I didn't yeah I you didn't I went Crappy show. Crappy. Yeah. Okay, so before we get into the realm of expletives and we, you know, go on about hashtag. So I just want to wrap up things. So Anneli Ames Film School, our film studio our, is here at yep. Swiss Co Create. Right, Swiss Co Create, yep. But soon to be released, though. A new wrap location, up. a brand new studio so opening exciting. up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm What's doing the... horse therapy. I'm working with horses. Wow. I'm going to the Ukraine to, do, to work with horses on a deeper level, on a, on a healing level, cool. so I can work wow. with people that way. I have my Kundalini yoga training, teacher training, so I'll be doing the Kundalini wow. Wow. out of my space. So and I'm bringing people all over. Get it and up. And the and and the get it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do that. Yes. Before we kind of, I know we're going to You only have one minute. <laughs> is there anything that you want to say? Like, you're such an inspiring <sighs> woman. Like, and I, I'm totally in awe of you. Is there anything that you, like a message or for young women who are kind of, yes. you know, yes. off yes, the beaten yes, yes, I, yes, yes, I'm writing yes, films right now about this. Yes. And then I feel that women right now, especially those who are being abused or being uh, psychologically tortured or whatever it is, and they can't get out of themselves, which I think women have lots of issues around, you can you, there are places for you, there are podcasts for you. If you can't leave your house, uh, see movies that inspire you. Hopefully the mm -hmm. world is inspired to make more creative movies around women who, who cannot get out of, of whatever abuse they're enduring. I really believe that and I believe also that m people who have mental illness, people who have any kinds of issues, it's always based in a, in a, in a spiritual um, pressure cooker that the lid's been put on. So even if you get out and you say the trees are green today, the trees are green, it will help you out of your Torment. Wow. All right, so let's raise red a glass. Wow. Thank let's you so much. Raise the lid off the pressure cooker. To all cover. the women who are yes. suffering and, yes. and, and men and too. And, and, and men too. Anybody, Cheers. raise the lid off the pressure cooker. Yeah, Thank raise the lid off the pressure cooker. Thank you. Thanks. Please. Thank yes. you.